and I think it was as of 1745, um, it took on the name Green Park. Hello, how are we doing? Uh, we are, we are, we, there's an usher over there. We are in Green Park in central London. And look, there's some nice flowers here. The daffodils are blooming. It's like kind of spring-ish. Um, yeah, we're just going for a nice walk through the park. Why don't you come and join us? Yes! Although it is very cold, there is a sense that spring is in the air. Um, yes, hopefully it gets warmer though. Oh. It still feels like winter. Yeah, Asha has hot tea. <laughs> I have a cold drink of water. But yeah, I mean, it's quite nice when the sun comes out. Wow, that's quite a nice building. Looks quite old. Someone, something, I don't know. So Green Park is like a triangular park, which is actually right next to Buckingham Palace, just over there, which we may take you to later or at some point. And then there's some other stuff over there, no idea what that is. But um, it's actually called Green Park, obviously, because it's green, right? But um, originally it was part of the St. James Park, which is more that way. And it differed from the uh, St. James Park because there it was more about the flowers and more about things and stuff and trees and the whereas this was more about the green meadow and I think it was as of 1745 um, it took on the name Green Park there you go, now you know so this oh, is my no. favourite park and it's next to also my another favorite park, Hyde Park. And um, it's amazing when you come here and there is a one alley which goes from um, Buckingham Palace all the way up to actual Green Park Station. And if you go there, you're just absolutely surrounded with trees above you. And on a sunny day or even like a cloudy day today, you just feel totally immersed in green which obviously like makes you peaceful quiet and a little bit centered in yourself so i suggest if even in the rainy day because we've we've done that come here and just experience a bit of nature and um i guess nature inside you and peace inside you um in the center of london so Okay, so we are now walking on the mall. Um, the mall kind of leads from Buckingham Palace, that there with the gold. So Buckingham Palace is behind the uh, statue, which you may be able to see, I'm not sure. But, um, and yeah, in front of that, in front of the building, the statue is a Victoria, Queen Victoria Memorial. Um, so yeah, this mall obviously, runs straight down to Buckingham Palace and then this way is towards uh, Trafalgar Square um, yeah and then on I believe that side is St. James Park um, there's also kind of a lot of various old -er buildings like around you know here it's kind of the older one of the older and kind of I guess more English parts of London um, yeah, just a really nice place to kind of come, you know, even if it is a bit overcast, you know, just like the, uh, like the wide open spaces and the, you know, a bit of, a bit of nature, even though it is very doctored, or doctored, doctored, tamed, shall I say, you know, it's still nice to kind of get the sense of space. Uh, and nature.
So yeah, this is now St. James Park, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is now St. James Park. I was correct. Uh, St. James named after, obviously, James. <laughs> St. James. St. James. Named after St. James. Hmm. Yeah. So who was St. James? Hang on, I'm gonna contact Google. Back to the history lesson. Uh, so it's called St. James Park because it was named after a leper hospital, um, which was named after St. James the Less. So leper as in leprosy, which is kind of a horrible disease, um, which is all but being abolished, I believe, right now. Um, yes, it was named after that hospital. Bit of a dark one, but you know, maybe this is kind of where they came to chill out. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Look, there's a nice bridge. Um, oh, one thing also I forgot to say was around here somewhere there's like the horse guards which kind of do ah, so kind of that direction where the horses are. Um, and yeah, if you are wandering around either the mall or the Green Park, St. James Park. Do be careful, because there are loads of horse doo-doos everywhere. This is St. James Park Bridge here. Here it is, here. Uh, from here, you can kind of see up there the London Eye behind that. You may be able to see the, um, what's it called? The Shard. Um, yeah, it looks very nice. Da -da 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 -da. Sun is coming out, aren't we lucky? Seems to be more and more people there, so you know. Take some, you lose some. Here you can see uh, loads of, what are they? Not rainbow lorikeets, uh, parakeets. Um, yeah, some sort of Australian bird, parrot. Um, they actually got introduced to London somehow. They're not exactly sure how that happened. I think I did talk about it in the, where was it? Hampstead Heath vlog. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it there. Uh -huh. um, yeah, but I think actually they, they're not 100% sure where, how they got into London. I suspect two possibilities. One being either uh, so people, like normal people, had them as pets and then accidentally let them go. Or uh, they were, they escaped from the zoo, perhaps. Or something similar. Uh, yeah, they were run down in Paris. Obviously, actually, does say a lot around everywhere not to feed the parrots here, or not to feed any of the birds. In the process, or while, you know, if the, 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 the birds get too accustomed to being fed, you know, then they get very reliant on humans. Um, you know, they become tame, um, and obviously they're no longer wild. Uh, yeah, it isn't so great for the birds if they're always relying on humans rather than kind of fending for themselves. But as you can see over there, people don't listen. And I mean, it is a bit of a fun thing to do, to have them like land on you and poop on your head and stuff. You know, people like that sort of stuff. I think it's important to say that people in a big city like London are actually like um, uh, having the um, close contact with um, birds, up close animals, like just nature. It is um, quite unusual. So having to feed parrot, it actually makes them a little bit more connected to the nature and being kind of interacting with it. So um, on another hand, I think it's a good thing. It is like, you know... There's a willow tree. There's loads of willow trees. See all these willow trees? The ones that are kind of like... Kind of like a weeping willow or something there, of course. Oh. Right, yeah. He wasn't too keen. Uh, yes, keep going, let's go. That was a brief um, excursion through two of the parks. 
in central London. So we're kind of, you know, Westminster area. This is down the mall. This is, we've just been in St. James Park, which is where we are now. And obviously we started off in Green Park. Uh, yeah, really nice to kind of just, you know, it's kind of like an escape without leaving London or like, well, even we came actually more central London to have that escape, which is kind of ironic. But um, anyway, yeah, I think that'll do for now. I'm gonna sign off. There's Asha saying goodbye. Um, if you liked it, do all those things. Subscribe, like, share with a friend, comment down below. What do you think of the parks? Um, and then yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Keep on drifting.